my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you all are doing so well. Today is Wednesday. It's October 9th and it's currently a little past 6 p.m. I just got off of work and wrapped that up for the day. But I'm starting this vlog now because I want to show you guys a productive 24 hours in my life. I have been in a funk, you guys. I have been wrapped up with the work. I haven't been prioritizing myself, prioritizing my routines, my fitness, or anything like that. So I want to take 24 hours to prioritize getting back on track, getting out of the phone, and just kind of resetting my life. Just use it as a reset so that we can continue having productive days moving forward. So like I said, I just got off of work um, an hour past what I was supposed to, but nevertheless, we got our things done. Now I am about to head to the gym. It's cardio and abs day, so I'm just, it's going to be a light workout, which is really good because honestly, I have not been to the gym in some days now so this will be a really good start coming back so enough of me rambling let's head to the gym so we can get our workout out the way short because as you can see it's getting pretty late let's head home it's currently 7 25 and i want to be home at a decent time hey guys i am back home i did stop by my p.o box today i haven't told you guys but i do have a p.o box now i got it for pr reasons and business purposes i checked it today and i had some pieces of mail um, related to business but i also actually have my first pr in my p.o box I've had PR before, which I'm so grateful for, but I just want to take some time and celebrate this moment that I got my first PR in my PO box. So, yay me. So, let me show you guys what I got. Polish Choice sent over a few goodies. I'm so excited about this PR. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I love Polish Choice. I've been using it since college, so that's some years now. Let me show you guys what they sent over. So they sent this BHA liquid exfoliant. This is my tried and true. I have been, this is the product I have been using since college. So of course they had to send me some over. This is a salicylic acid exfoliant and it's so good. If you guys have not tried it out, go try it now. They also sent their C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. It brightens dullness and even skin tone, strengthens and repairs the skin barrier. They also sent their Vitamin C Serum. This is the C15 Super Booster for their 1% Retinol Booster. It says it improves wrinkles and loss of firmness. And then lastly, they sent over their Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Lip Booster. Thank you again to Polish Choice for sending over these goodies. I'm so grateful. Let me stop stalling and let's get in the shower. I feel a little headache on, so I really need to get it pushing so I can hurry up and go to bed.
We are out the shower. We're all fresh and clean. I did my little skincare. It's already nine o'clock. It's pretty late. And I'm already starting to feel like myself again since going to the gym. So I'm so proud of my past self for going to the gym. Even though I did not feel like it, I still have a headache from earlier from work. But we pushed through and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better. And this reset, this life reset and routine reset is off to a good start. So now I want to tidy up and do my little closing shift around my house. I am out of my lounge clothes and in my pajamas. I'm in the bed. I'm not feeling well at all. I have an excruciating headache. Having it really all day at this point and I feel like what I need right now is some rest. So I'm just gonna wrap up my night pretty early. I mean, it's kind of right on time because this is my bedtime. I go to bed at least by 10 o'clock, but we still had things to get done, but we'll just pick up those things tomorrow. So I'm gonna call it a night. I will talk to you guys in the morning bright and early when we're headed to the gym back today because I kind of woke up I think 15 minutes late I literally woke up at 5 15 and I won't have enough time for a leg day so back it is but it is currently 5 47 I feel so refreshed today I went to sleep on time I woke up on time and honestly this reset is just off to a great start way better than what I was doing before if you guys only knew i deleted social media apps off my phone that have been like a distraction for me and honestly i've just been getting so many things done and just been way more productive but yes it is currently 5 48 so let's head to the gym so we can come back and get on with our day out the gym you guys look at the sunrise behind me it's so beautiful so we made it back from the gym we got the workout in it was really good really chill back day and then i just walked a half a mile on the treadmill now i am about to do my gratitude gratitude journal and bible study for the day you guys know you guys know what i say about gratitude you should be in a state of gratitude every day so all of this is just spiritual grounding spiritual hygiene before i start my day it's so important because we face so many adversities a day we face so many souls we face so many different situations a day and it's so important to ground yourself first. I notice when I don't do these things in the morning, I don't attack my problems and adversity throughout the day in the best way possible. But when I do this in the morning before I start my day, ground myself spiritually, it just helps me have more clarity throughout the day and just helps me have a more positive attitude about life. I'm about to do this and then I'm gonna make some breakfast and then we're gonna take a shower and get ready for our day and start work.
my lunch break and I just was able to take a shower which was fine because I didn't really sweat that much in the gym today I took it pretty light today but we still had a great back day but I wanted to come on here and chit chat with you guys while I do my skincare I'm gonna start with the vitamin C brightening pads so speaking of work a lot of you guys ask me what I do for work and I just feel like work is something that I'm just gonna keep separate from YouTube and the internet just to give you some context I did speak about this on my channel before but I graduated college with the chemical engineering degree so when you have like an engineering degree especially a chemical one you can really do anything and be fine so I hope that gives you some context of like what I do for work while I was in the shower I was kind of laughing at myself because like, I identified a pattern of me over consuming especially on products and I would never be able to finish them and I didn't I don't like wasting my money like who does so I like came up with this little game with myself that if I want to get new products I have to finish the ones I have so like I had two I had two rack fulls of body washes I only have two left and the one of them is like a huge bottle of the bioderma oil cleansing body wash like i have a list of body washes that i want to get but in order for me to reward myself with them i have to finish my stuff if i want to get a new skincare i have to finish something first or it's just like a waste like it also makes me prioritize consistency with my product because if i want to get something i'm going to try to hurry up and get through it so i'm going to be using it every day as much as i can so yeah i was kind of laughing at it because i thought it was funny but i also wanted to share because i just felt but like we're in such a time of overconsumption, especially with TikTok. Every single day you look on the internet, it's a new product somebody's suggesting or a new item or new this or new girl. Nobody's, we're not, no. I honestly just stopped wanting to get everything just to want to try it and I just really like kind of fell out the hype of oh this is the newest product I'll look at it I'll check it out if I'm still thinking about it months later I'll get it but, but I definitely don't fall to the hype anymore so I went in with my two toners I used the Heartleaf a newer Heartleaf 77% soothing toner and then the I'm from rice toner I've been using these for a while now as you can see they're like pretty much almost gone so I have a few toners on my list too that I want to add hyaluronic acid essence I just love putting on hyaluronic acid as much as I can throughout the day because it's very hydrating for your skin I actually forgot to put on my polish choice exfoliant so I'm going to put that on now but usually I will put this on before I do my essence another thing is i don't want to ignore the big elephant in the room you guys we're like at what well, i checked today i'm at like 13k subscribers i am so grateful you guys do not understand a few months ago like four months ago or five months ago i just hit 1k and i was just telling you guys how it's such a big deal for me how i'm so grateful and i just been wanting to hit 1k for a while now we have like over 12k more people in our family so if you're new to my channel welcome i'm so happy to have you here on my channel i really just like to take you guys through my process of self-development growth everyday life beauty all the lifestyle things etc so if that's your vibe if i'm your vibe make sure you subscribe if you haven't already but thank you guys for 13k like what we're growing so fast and i'm so grateful for it next i'm going to go in with the good all vitamin c serum i'm almost out of this one too i'm excited because there's so many products i want to try another hack that i've learned with my skincare is like to let it dry down before you layer something else on top y'all i will literally be rushing through my skincare just slapping everything on but i realized once i like let everything like soak in and dry down for a minute before i apply my next one my skin just looks so much more plump and moisturized and it honestly makes sense like if you're just applying everything on your face it's like how can your skin actually absorb each product you know my skin isn't really the best right now we're working on it but we're getting there i've been having some eczema come up and things like that and i think it's just from me eating 
dairy. Since I was born, I've been allergic to dairy. I thought it was just a lactose intolerance and people that are lactose intolerant still eat dairy. So I thought I can just eat what I want still, but I think it's actually an allergy and my skin has been telling me in a bunch of different ways to stop eating it. I've actually stopped eating it for two weeks now and it's really not that hard. Like once I understood like, I'm in control of what I do. I'm in control of what I eat. And it's honestly just food. Like it's meant to fuel us, not to harm us. And dairy was harming me. So why do I keep like putting it in my body? Like it just doesn't make sense. And honestly, I've just been having so much fun coming up with like new recipes and alternatives from dairy. Cause I feel like everything I was eating had some form of dairy in it. I see why it was affecting me. And since I've stopped eating it, I've just known noticed a huge difference in my skin, my gut, everything. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with my Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. Now my skincare is done. Already for my day. I just have on some loungewear because I don't really plan on going anywhere But if I do I could just change I am about to take my sea moss I've been taking sea moss capsules for for some years now just recently switched over to the gel and the capsules are so much easier. I'm just gonna say that. But this one is not that bad. It just has a sea taste. I mean, it is sea moss, but I don't wanna taste that. It's just so easier to take a capsule and you don't have to actually taste the sea moss. And because it's gel, it's like so hard to swallow. I just took a biotin gummy to kind of get that taste out of my mouth. Now I'm about to take my vitamins. Okay. That's over. My lunch is also almost over, so I'm about to just relax for a second. Excuse the lighting, you guys. It's pretty sunny out. But I'm actually done with work, and I came to the grocery store just to get a few things because I'm cooking short ribs tonight. I usually cook my short ribs like I just cook them down like a rice and gravy, but today I want to like braise them in red wine and try that out and see what that flavor is like. So I needed to come to the store and get some red wine, and then I want to put like carrots in there so i'm gonna get a few things nothing too crazy that's pretty much the update let's go in the store and get this stuff so we can hurry up and get these short ribs on the stove it's officially been 24 hours since i started this vlog but we're not gonna end it here i'm gonna show you guys my short ribs and how i cook it i didn't know which red wine to get i wish i went to trader joe's because they have really good affordable red wines that I think will be great for cooking. So I got this brand in the Cabernet. Cooking and baking are becoming my hobbies. I want to get out of cooking the same mundane meals and start like exploring and cooking some gourmet things and baking gourmet goods. Especially now that I'm not eating dairy, I want to try to find a way to make baked goods but dairy free. But they also taste good, you know? But yeah, I'm about to wash these short ribs off and then we'll get started on the meal.
I brought my jerk ribs to a simmer. It's all covered on the stove right now. I just cut up some onion, carrot, and celery. When you're cooking short ribs, you only want to just brown the meat and then take it out and then put all your vegetables and stuff. Put your wine and your beef stock and then put the meat back in there so it can cook the rest of the way in the pot. I did pour me up a little bit of the Cabernet to try. It's really not bad. Hey guys, it is the end of my day. It's pretty late. It's actually like past 11 right now. I ate dinner, I cooked, I did all the things. Now I am about to get in the shower and head to bed. But I didn't want to come on here without telling you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, comment this emoji right here so that I know who the real ones are on my channel. We're finally back to feeling great. We're finally back to feeling productive. We're reset were all the things i say this 24 hour reset was a success if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like comment what you thought down below and subscribe to me to see more i'll see you guys in the next one bye